every single time historical ai off why is it that when something happens it's always you three communist france democratic germany and the soviet civil war <laughs> come on the spanish civil war has got to be there as well right come on the anarchists always rise up the carlists always rise up it's literally always like a four-way multi-civil war come on the partition of Belgium. So let's start from the bomb. Wallonian independence recognized as Israel. Interesting. The eastern part, Luxembourg, to prevent a German invasion through Belgium into France. Ah, I see. Belgium would no longer border Germany. So therefore, Germany has no invasion path. Ah, this is kind of smart. Autonomous Oblast of Jean. Okay. Totally not Russian sponsored separatist rebels of Neiman. This is this is a little bit deep for me, this, because I don't know these places in Belgium. <laughs> and then we have Flemish Landia. It's like a little island in the center. I love this one. There's the northern strip occupied by Netherlands. So basically, we're removing Belgium completely. <laughs> there is no more Belgium. And then at the very top, oh, this makes a very, this makes an English man happy. Port given to England. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think that's 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 a good partition. We have access to Europe again. Yay! Back into Europe, boys. Poland, you good? Map of all countries where the chief of the police accidentally fired 90 millimeter grenade launcher in his own office. You see, in the 1930s, Italy was kind of like the crazy uncle of Europe, you know, and then as time went on, of course, it was the Eastern Bloc. But then always Poland was always there to remind us of his existence. Congratulations, Poland. GG. How Hoy 4 players see the world IRL. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Big reveal. <laughs> Oh, I see the uh, national stereotypes. <laughs> they do take forever to build. Me waiting for the supply hub to be built. <sighs> I have so many things to say about this, but this is true. If you use the little decision that increases the build speed of by 400%, not only does it make it 400% build quicker, but it also makes it 400% cheaper as well. It's like double whammy. An updated map of Europe after the recent Slovak annexation of Corsica. <laughs> because it's spelt differently, it's just Slo with a dot. It kind of makes you think this is an independent Corsica with a Slovakian identity. Land block nations conquering islands. Basically the Hungarian focus tree, right? Forming Austria-Hungary be like, take Austria by force. Apparently the current mayor of that is to not actually take it by force. It's to actually ask for the referendum because at least then you get the entirety of their army and all of their equipment. Where if you take them by force and declare war and you're going to get a portion of their equipment and you don't get any manpower. Guys, I fixed Europe. Look closely. You can see it. Look. Zoom in. Enhance. That's right. Europe can't be fixed. My favorite map I've made... Okay, so we definitely have a bit of a blue and a red. Let's see what this means. So first of all, not ruled by Vladimir Putin. So yeah, we have NATO, we have Africa, we have China. We have over two thirds of the world. Then we have ruled by Vladimir Putin. Of course, we have Russia. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Man, Russia is big. I always forget how big Russia is. Damn, you big Russia, you big. And then finally, we have no data because it's Greenland, okay? There's never any data about Greenland, okay? No one does surveys in Greenland. Nobody does studies in Greenland. We have literally no idea what's happening in Greenland. It is the massive landmass that we know nothing about. And if you know anything about Greenland, you're lying. I don't use the Navy much. My resources, my military factories, that makes sense. A very small portion of the resources going to the dockyards. You know, it sounds easy to do this, but the only way you can give the drips is to the convoys, right? It's just a bit of steel. But if you make one, just one capital ship, it's like, that'll be 50 chromium and 100 iron, please. Nope. <laughs> We're going to be dismantling those ships and making tanks out of them. Stinky food regions of Europe. Anecdotal. So first of all, we have stinky cheese. Hey, it checks out. I remember Britain, Stilton. Very stinky, very moldy. Makes sense. France, Germany, 
Italy. Yeah, famous cheese places. I get that. Then we have stinky meat. Okay, now this is an area I have no experience in. I don't familiar with any kind of stinky meats. Balkan boys, please let me know in the comments. And then finally, we have stinky fish. Yes, we're all familiar with that canned Swedish fish that YouTubers eat for a dare, okay? It's, this will become the new cinnamon challenge. I've seen it. Yes, it looks awful. Yes, I've seen quite a few people throw up eating it. Please don't remind me. I think I'm lagging a bit. 46,000 divisions. I need to know the date of this game. I need to know the date of this game. This cannot be legit. Okay, there is a console command. It's IT, which is instant training. Just IT, enter. And it deploys divisions instantly. And with that, you can deploy a lot. This guy is cheating, calling him out. Shots fired. You just got dutched. A very simple map of the United States. Northern States of America. Middle States of America. Southern States of America. Send this to another subreddit to be undutched. I feel like I've been trapped. I've been trapped. The only part of this that upsets me is that we have uh, Alaska and Hawaii. And I, I agree that the northern and the southern, based on the location they are on the planet, they just look a little bit out of place here. This does not have these two blobs on the Dutch flag. Wrong, accurate, I don't like it. Did you know you could go in a straight line from Birmingham, UK to Madrid, Spain? Isn't that the way straight lines work? Question is, what mode of transport would be required to make this maneuver? So cycling, unless it's somehow amphibious in some way. Car, gonna be a little bit wet. Boat, you're gonna struggle when you hit land. Definitely Brittany there. Uh, I think this is a plane maneuver, boys. But is there an airport in Birmingham? Of course not. There's nothing in Birmingham. There's no reason to go to Birmingham. Don't go to Birmingham. Okay, this comes from a British person, okay? Is it me or does Siberia look like a... What does it look like, boys? Like an A-shape? Hmm? I mean, the province of Siberia can't be all of this land entirely, can it? What bit always confused me is how, like, actual regions are named after continents. Like, for instance, the province of Africa for the Romans was like the bit of Tunisia and Algeria today. That's what they considered the region of Africa, even though we consider that continent. But what confuses me, we consider all of the, this bit here as Siberia, but the Russians just called this Siberia. Oh, someone's calling out in the comments. Is Saka not Siberia now? Well, it kind of is the same. IG. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. These guys in the comments debating the legitimacy of the meme. Me playing USA or the Soviet Union. 300 factories in tanks, 300 factories in planes. So you've got the choice of one or the other. Why not both? If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know with a like and a subscribe. That will help me out massively. This will sort out your free time problems. You no longer have free time. This video is next.